Hey! This is a <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Hey, welcome to a new video. Here in Denmark, we've been hit quite hard by the coronavirus, just like many other countries. And just like many other countries, our healthcare system is also quite challenged when it comes to personal protection equipment for the healthcare workers. In Denmark, all the makers have banded together into a group, just like many other countries, and this group is called DK Makers Against Corona. Basically, what the group does is they organize the production of personal protection equipment for the healthcare system done by makers. They've managed to take a Spanish design for a protective shield and together with the Danish authorities managed to make it actually be approved for use in the hospitals. They have also organized this whole thing together with the companies who are donating filament, uh, the Danish Postal Services which is bringing this out for free. They've also managed to take and make centrals all over the country where you can get filament and you can hand in your shields. Mick in the studio next door he found this group and he came in and he was like yeah we got to do this don't we and of course we got to do this we have two 3d printers and we have a lot of filament that is never being used i have pc gray abs i have a whole spool of it i've never used it and i have no idea why i have it but now i can turn it into protective shields for the healthcare system and it's actually gonna have a use so let's make some protective shields for the healthcare system in Denmark to fight the coronavirus. have run into a tiny little bit of a problem. We have a casualty. Mix printer, actually, uh, it broke down, kind of. <laughs> uh, what happened was suddenly it started a little bit under extruding. We couldn't really figure out why, and we were considering do we need to turn up the extrusion rate so it will put out more plastic? And no, 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 no. The whole thing broke. And basically we started out with just having a look at it, taking the hot end apart and just looking around that little wheel that is leading the filament down into the hot end uh, itself. Well, that was a mess. <laughs> the plastic was all over the place. We thought, okay, this is, the, this is the issue. This is where we have our problem. So Mick ended up actually having that extra gear and we changed it, put it all together and started printing and thought, yeah, everything is fine. But no, what is the problem? And we were looking at it and we figured out it must be inside the hot end. So again, take the whole hot end apart and inside we found a, the PTFE tube has squished together uh, around the filament so no filament could come out at all. Mick had the spare parts lying around. Uh, not even spare parts, but upgrade he'd never installed. Perfect time to install the upgrade. Everything was put back together, the printer was dialed in and it's now printing perfectly. I mean, Mick is saying this is printing just like when he got it again. have a project within this project of trying to automate this thing. I saw a guy called Make Anything on YouTube and he did it. And then I started seeing people online in the groups also doing it with the Corona Shields. And I was thinking, ah, I gotta try this too. I just put in the G code and I'm thinking, yeah, this is gonna work. And my printer crashed. Uh, well, actually it didn't crash because I crash detection on, so it did nothing. Okay, so taking off the crash detection and saying, okay, just crash into the part. 
So I did that. I had trouble with bed adhesion. Bed adhesion was too much because I used ABS juice. So more experimenting with the actual concentration and how I apply the ABS juice and where I apply the ABS juice. Should I print more and move the part? Should I print one part, shove it off and print on the same spot again? There, it's going now, it's happening. Oh, it's too stuck. Oh, man. Uh, it doesn't work. <sighs> Damn it. And I did all these experiments. Not good, and it worked. I got it. It's working. I have automatic production of Rona shoes up and running. Comes off. Oh, the lingers. Oh, what have you got? It's not like little. No. Three and a half rounds. There was another one. After so long, so many attempts, it's actually working. It's spitting them out. It's a huge satisfaction whenever you get stuff to work. We haven't tried it on Mick's printer yet because Mick is busy doing his own thing. He is making a video telling this whole story about how makers are getting involved and responding to a need in the society from the viewpoint, of course, of what's happening here in Denmark. So go check that out on his channel. I'll link it in the description. Anyway, we need to get all these packed up and then we have to go deliver them. The face shield is what Mick and I was able to produce in just a little week with two 3D printers. Now they're all cleaned, stacked and ready to be packed and then they're off to the Fab Lab here in Copenhagen which is the drop-off point for shields in this area. And from there on the healthcare system can give it requests and it'll be distributed out to the people who need them at the front line. So let's get these packed and then we're off to the Fab Lab. We're closing in on the Fab Lab. We actually have a uh, appointment with uh, somebody in the healthcare system. So yeah, that's gonna be nice. We're gonna go to the Fab Lab first and that's where we're going right now. So this is the place where all the volunteers are packing uh, the shields up. I think they have around 7,000 shields they're packing up. And they're even having to do triage, like who gets first, which departments and which healthcare systems uh, gets delivered the shields first. So it's a huge collaborative effort. This is the box going out. It's actually, is it a nursing home? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There's 300 in this, we've just packaged it. We're not as good as the other volunteers, but this is the first package we're doing. And it contains both the uh, transparent sheets, it contains these shields, and it contains the elastics, as well as instructions on how to assemble it and clean it all. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? We don't have anything. We will use them in the whole plan. Så 
So we just handed in the box here. It's actually not a nursing home, but it's for the whole municipality of the city we're in. So this box will be distributed to all the workers going into the elder care, the people going in uh, to the private home of elderly people who need help uh, in their everyday. They will get one each of these shields and then it will change the transparent sheet. So this will go out and help the whole elder se elderly section of this municipality here. And that's just one box. This is being done all over the country right now. This is something worth fighting for. This is something that is satisfying. So if you have any uh, initiative in your country or something, join in. If you have a 3D printer, I'm sure there's someone who needs your help also where you are. So just go for it. Print, 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 print. They need it. They were telling us they have nothing, they're not getting anything. And this is a huge, huge, huge difference uh, here locally. So it matters.